Also in the Big 12, TCU Gonzaga in the late night Sunday game in the second round NCAA tournament matchup. So three pointers, that's what Gonzaga does. They shoot threes and they give up threes. They're the number one team in the nation in scoring, number one in field goal percentage. They let it rip. Well, here's the thing. Now they got to take on a TCU team that is very, very good at preventing teams from hitting three-pointers. They are the second best three-point defense in the entire Big 12. The Horned Frogs know how to prevent the three ball. They do it very well. Now they go up against the Gonzaga team that, let's be honest, has not played the level of competition that TCU has played. The toughness, the veracity that TCU is going to bring to that perimeter defense is not going to be something that Gonzaga has seen here over the last couple of months, probably since non-conference play. TCU is top three in rebounds in the Big 12, offensive rebounds as well. And if TCU can slow this game down, be efficient from the floor, guard the three ball well, the Horn Frogs can win. And I believe ultimately the Horn Frogs are going to win this game. Now, if it's going to be close at the end, I don't like either of these teams to hit free throws because they're both in the bottom three in their respective conferences in free throw percentage. So it's if it's a free throw shooting uh, game down the stretch, uh, you know, may the best man win. But ultimately, this is one of those games where it feels like to me, if TCU plays its game, plays its pace after a very good comeback against Arizona State, the Horn Frogs win this game. I like TCU 64. Gonzaga, 62.